All right, everybody, the reason why I'm making this video is to be able to show you how to actually get up our iPad. Um, before, we were using the Puffin, um, either the free or paid app, um, but there's actually going to be another way. To find Puffin um, on the, your iOS device, you're gonna, it might actually already be installed, so you want to go ahead and you know, search through the different, um, you know, different slides of Windows. Um, you can see that Puffin is here, um, but um, the Puffin Academy is not. Uh, another place you can look is go ahead and go to the self-service menu. Uh, go ahead and scroll down and see if that is going to be a part of that, and you can see that it is a part there. Um, I also found that some of the devices, too, um, they were not there, but if I went to the App Store um, and actually clicked on the purchased logo, um, then you can see that it's also there as well. Um, so you can either you know click on the little cloud there or go to the um, the self-service menu and do it there. That's actually where I'm going to do it. I just found that some of the devices, it was not actually in the self-service for some reason, but it was in the purchased menu. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. Um, sometimes a little a cursor goes away, but you can go ahead and use the um, the exit button to go ahead and do so, and we'll go ahead and wait till it actually loads. Now before we were using the Puffin one and then we were actually using it as a browser, um, this is going to be a little different. So what you're going to do is actually click on the Puffin Academy app. <laughs> It'll pop up like this. Um, you or your, you, you want to make sure you probably train your students that you need to click on the top left hand corner where it says the Puffin Academy portal, the little blue with um, the little app icons. Uh, you want to click on this. Now this brings up all the different <clears throat> people that actually use the Puffin Academy to be able to use their, their material with the Flash-based curriculum. Um, you In the top right hand corner you want to go ahead and search. In this case you want to search Play-Doh um, and then go ahead and search it. You can see there that um, it's actually right below where it says products meeting the fault search criteria. Click on Play-Doh and then it actually tells you a little bit about Play-Doh itself. Go ahead and go on, go on to the website and then right there, you can actually have the students log in with obviously their account number being LEUSD, -E and then their Play-Doh name being their um, ID number, and then the password being the two-digit month, two-digit day, and four-digit year. And they should be able to access that and get into it. For whatever reason, if there's ever a time when it gets blank or it turns blank, um, go ahead and have them log back out of <clears throat> Play-Doh itself and log back in but don't exit the actual Puffin app and it should actually go back in. There was some, for whatever reason, the, the Wi-Fi would every once in a while block it but they were able to get that fixed um, as they went back in. So that's actually a little tutorial on actually how to use the new way of doing the Puffin and I hope that it helped and have a good rest of your day.